Hi, it's me again, Micah, and this is Wellspring, week three for winter. And the question is, how do we change? For this segment, we're looking at Psalm 119, verses 33 through 40. Let's look at that together. So this psalm, as we go to the psalm writer, it's obvious that the psalm writer wants to be better. Now, if you're like me, and you want to be better, but I keep finding myself falling short again and again. It seems to be the, the problem that the, the more that I try, the worse that I feel, and it seems as if I could just fall into a slump of complacency. But a key to growing and changing is that humility that we talked about last season. Seeing ourselves, or the discipline of seeing ourselves as we are in the light of God's glory and majesty. When we see His glory and His majesty, we become more and more aware of our need for Him. Let's look at the requests that are made in this psalm. Teach me. Give me understanding. Direct me. Turn my heart, turn my eyes, fulfill your promise, take away the disgrace. So when we want to be better, we ask for help. When we want to be better, we go to the king who could truly change us and deal with our hearts. So as we go through the week, we see that the psalm is a prayer. We talk about that on Wednesday. And we're, we're committed to the idea that when we ask for anything in accordance with God's will, he will accomplish it. So we would be asking him for his help, for his change, for his working in our lives. On Friday, well, let's step back to um, Wednesday. One of the questions on Wednesday is, as you try to improve as an athlete, who are you depending on? Do you really want to improve? And do your actions demonstrate a commitment to improving? Now, you could spend all week on that, and you could spend a lifetime on that question. The next step in the questioning is, do you delight in being taught? And tied to that, are you willing to be corrected? If you can bring those questions to your team, it's going to make a, a huge change in their perspectives as they examine themselves. It's going to demonstrate the pride that they have in their hearts that actually acts against what God would want to accomplish in our lives. This, um, this would be in their team, in their playing, in their games, in their practice, but also in their sanctification as God would be remaking them in the image of Christ, making them more and more able to say no to sin and yes to godliness. The fifth question, which is for on Thursday, is on one of the ways in which a teachable spirit displays itself is in conversation with God as demonstrated in this psalm. When your team prays together, do you fully participate in your heart, if not in your words? Now that's a question that we can all examine in our lives. We have those questions as we examine our practices and worship. As the word is being preached, are we fully engaged? As we're singing for God's glory, are we fully engaged or are we just going through the motions? The next question is, do you view your team prayer time as important? And that could be a question, again, that flows into our personal lives, into our personal devotions. It can also flow into our worship and our time in the assembly. But now, and specifically, you can be addressing it in, in the terms of as your team prays. And on Friday, you'll ask the question, what does a teachable athlete do? Now, this will relate to the ways that they relate to you. It moves into their prayer life, how they're thinking about it, the ways that they're engaged in prayer as a part of the team, even in their worship. And impress upon them and keep going back to the idea that a teachable person knows that they have needs. And it's really in being a teachable person that we're able to progress. 
that we're able to grow in our sanctification, that we're able to grow as players, we're able to grow as a team. So, teach your team this. Show them the steps of being teachable, the steps for progress. Impress upon them that it's God that is at work in them. As he's the one that accomplishes our salvation, he accomplishes our sanctification. He accomplishes our growth in all the areas of life. And he uses people to do that. He uses teachers and preachers and coaches and teammates. And it's in having a teachable spirit that we are able to live and grow. I'm Micah, and this is Wellspring Week 3 for Winter. May God bless you.